Hi guys and welcome back to Vlogmas. I am here today to do a very fun video and that is on the outrageous Christmas movies that I love. So just kind of the over the top or zany or just downright weird Christmas movies that I can't help but watch almost every year if not every year. And the first on the list is Borrowed Hearts. And this is a feature films for families which was a small company and they published like family friendly videos. So we got many of them growing up. And this one is about a a uh, very like white collar high end executive who has really pulled himself up by his bootstraps and owns a company and there is a business deal he's really hoping to get around Christmas time and he's heard that the man who he is working to get the deal with is a big family man so he decides that in order to seal the deal with this business transaction that he will hire a mother and daughter to act as his family and of course what do you know? The woman who he hires to be his wife, he ends up falling in love with her and then really growing to love the daughter. And so it's just so cliche and I love it though. And it's just an old favorite that I love to go back to from year to year. The next on the list is Meet the Santas. This is one of the Hallmark Christmas movies, which if you want some ridiculous Christmas movies, Hallmark is your go-to. And they make probably 20 new Christmas movies every year. And anyhow, Meet the Santas is where this woman falls in love with Nick, who is a very, very sweet man, and they become engaged. And then after they're engaged, he tells her that he's Santa Claus. And so in this movie, they are, this is the sequel, and they are planning their wedding, and Mr. Claus and Mrs. Claus come to help with the wedding planning. And there's lots of drama about whether Christmas will be successful and the wedding will be successful, and it's a good time. The next on the list is a very old one, and it is The March of the Wooden Soldiers. This stars Laurel and Hardy, and it is a comedy, and it's their kind of take on babes in Toyland. And they live with uh, Mother Hubbard in a shoe with their sister Bo Peep, and uh, they are really horribly in debt. And their mother doesn't know what to do, but the evil, evil, wicked debt collector, which you can tell from his wicked mustache and the dramatic music that plays every time, right? Right? I mean, how would you not know Barnaby was evil unless you had that music to tell you? And Barnaby says he will totally cancel their loan if Bo Peep will marry him. And so Bo Peep, though, is unfortunately in love with Tom Tom. So what's going to happen? Well, you have to watch March of the Wooden Soldiers to find out. And I will link it down below. It's all on YouTube and you can just watch it in all its gloriousness. Uh, the next one is the BBC The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. So long before these Disney ones that came out about 10 years ago came out, there were the BBC The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And these were made in the 1980s. And also I'll insert a picture of Aslan who has the terrible graphics. And it's just, it's, it's a good time. And so these are just very cheesy and over the top. And here I will insert a picture of the beavers and they do not look like beavers at all. I don't even know what they really look like. And these are, you know, I, I don't really know what else to say about them, but you should check it out. Next one is called Holiday in Handcuffs. And this stars Mario Lopez and Melissa Joan Hart. And it is about Melissa Joan Hart's character who I can't remember her name but anyhow she has a boyfriend she's going to take home for Christmas and she's super excited because her family is always on her case about whether she's dating someone and whether she's successful enough and why she's not married yet and at the very last minute uh, they're headed on the road to go see her family and they stop at a restaurant and he backs out at the very last minute he tells her at this restaurant so she sort of becomes unhinged and loses it and kidnaps Mario Lopez at the diner and takes him home and convinces her family that he is her boyfriend. And then what do you know, Stockholm Syndrome, they fall in love. So that's another one you definitely have to go check out. Next one is the 12 Dates of Christmas. And for us Saved by the Bell fans out there, this is perfect because it stars Mark Paul Gosseler and Amy Smart. Mark Paul Gosseler was Zach Morris on Saved by the Bell. 
And this one is about a girl who ends up reliving the same date for 12 days in a row. And so she is set up on a date with Mark Paul Gosseler and she ends up just learning different things about herself and getting to know Mark Paul Gosseler's character really well. And it's so ridiculous, but I can't help but love it. And it has all the wonderful like pop artist Christmas music and it's one of my go-tos when I want to feel really, like, just amused at Christmas time. And then the last one that I had to mention was Love at the Thanksgiving Day Parade, which is an extraordinary long title. And it's about a woman who is an event planner, and she is planning this Thanksgiving Day Parade, and she is really waiting on a proposal from her slough-off marine biologist boyfriend. And she keeps waiting on that proposal, and it keeps not happening. And in the meantime, there is a new, really annoying man who is hired in the company that she works for, and she has to work with him for the Thanksgiving Day Parade, and it's totally a Lizzie and Darcy trope. And it's so amusing, and you just gotta watch it. So I will link all the ones that are available online below, and I'll link the IMDb page of the ones that are not available online. But please, go enjoy this ridiculousness, because if you want to be amused and have a good laugh, I think these are a great route to go. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow for another Vlogmas video, and have a great